Hi, I'm Syed on Mass Online. Today we'll take a few problems on angle between the radius vector and the tangent. In the previous video, I already derived the formula for angle between the radius vector and tangent. The angle between the radius vector and tangent, the formula we have obtained is tan phi is equals to r into d theta by dr. Another expression we have obtained for the angle between the radius vector and tangent is cot of phi. If you take the reciprocal of tan, you will be getting cot of phi is 1 by r into dr by d theta. So this formula we already discussed in the previous video. You can watch my previous video on the derivation of angle between the radius vector and the tangent. So let me use this uh, formula and try to solve few problems. So let us take the first example. So the question is find the angle between the radius vector and tangent for the curve r is equals to a into 1 minus cos theta. So given the curve r is equals to a into 1 minus of cos theta. So what I'll try to do here is I'll try to express this in the form of 1 by r dr by d theta and try to replace that in the form of cot phi. So to get this 1 by r dr by d theta, the method that I'm going to follow is the first step. In the first step, I'll try to take log on both the sides. So taking log on both sides. Take log on both sides. So if you take log, I'll be getting log of r is equals to log of a times of 1 minus cos theta. So on the right hand side, now this expression which is there is in the form of log m into n. Log m into n can be written in the form of log m plus log n. The basic properties of logarithm. So if you try to use it over here, I will be getting log of a plus log of 1 minus cos theta. So we have log of r is equals to log a plus log of 1 minus cos theta. So I'll try to differentiate this with respect to theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. So we get log r differentiation will be 1 by r into differentiation of r with respect to theta will be dr by d theta is equals to log a is a constant its differentiation will be 0 plus again log differentiation will be 1 by so 1 by 1 minus cos of theta into the differentiation of 1 minus cos theta the differentiation of 1 will be 0 differentiation of cos theta will be minus of sin theta so further we have this value to be equals to minus of minus will become plus sin of theta divided by 1 minus cos of theta. So if you try to see the left hand side value over here, it is in the form of 1 by r dr by d theta. So we can use this formula, cot 5 is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta. So in place of 1 by r dr by d theta, we can replace the value by cot 5. So I'll try to replace that value as cot of 5. So I'm just using this result since cot phi value is nothing but 1 by r into dr by d theta. So further, the right hand side has to be simplified. So I can write sine theta in terms of the half angle formula. It is 2 sine theta by 2 into cos of theta by 2 whole divided by the denominator 1 minus cos theta in terms of the half angle can be written in the form of 2 sin square theta by 2. So further, we will try to cancel out the numerator and the denominator values. So you can see that this value of 2 and 2 will cancel out. 
this two and this two will cancel out. Further, you can cancel out this sine theta by two, and one sine theta by two can be cancelled out. So you are left out with cos theta by two denominator. Once you are having sine theta by two, so to try to rewrite this one. So this will be equals to it is cos of theta by two whole divided by it is sine of theta by two. So cos by sine is nothing but cot. So we got cot of theta by two. On the left hand side, cot five as it is. So since we are having equality over here, cot five is equal to cot of theta by two. So this two equality will be satisfied only when the value of five is equal to theta by two. Five. Is nothing but the angle between the radius vector and tangent. So that's the required solution.